Okay, so you're gonna do an intro? Um, do I have an intro? I don't know if I have an official intro for YouTube. Welcome to Ayana Willoughby's Tea Time. I'm her co host, Naomi Gray, sitting right next to the legend Ayana herself. Ayana, how are you today? I'm doing good. We have a lot of juicy hot tea today. So, Dave Chappelle, should he be canceled? We don't know. Cardi B, she speaks out about why she doesn't post her political opinions on Instagram anymore. And you have some juicy stuff too, right? I do have some juicy stuff. Brittany Renner, the hot mess of an IG model that she is, is on the loose trying to get some <laughs> children and some athletes at Jackson State University, which is a hot mess. And secondly, Eve is expecting a child. <laughs> Okay. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to dive a little bit deeper into those topics. Mm -hmm. Ayana, do you want to start us off? Yeah, I'll start off with Dave Chappelle. So, he has a Netflix special, which he, of course, he does stand-up comedy. And stand-up comedy does, it, it teeters with, you know, what's appropriate and what's inappropriate. But people find it comical. That's the point of stand-up comedy. Yeah. And so, he did make some comments that kind of rubbed some people the wrong way. And some of Netflix employees decided that they were going to um, schedule a walkout for October 20th, I believe, just in protest of what he said during his comedy special. So it, it's been a little it's been a little juicy, I it, will say. Yes, the LGBTQ community is highly offended by mm -hmm. the things that were said in that special. And he has also not had the best relationship with that community. And I feel like... I honestly don't know one stand-up comedian that does because they, they just say such uh, racy things. But it, it's because it gets the views. Like, y'all have to understand at this point, if it gets the views, they're going to say it. So. Yeah, so it's, it's an unfortunate situation. I watched the special. I'm going to leave my personal opinions out of it since it is such a controversial I topic. I haven't even watched it yet. Yeah, it, there was a little I'll bit... I'll watch it. It was a little bit cringy at points, but mm -hmm. I feel like with comedians, you have to understand them as a comedian. They consider what they do a form of art. And mm -hmm. there's sometimes we look at some portraits with some naked yeah. people and we're not understanding <laughs> what they're doing. So how did we just, get here? <laughs> I just, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make a point, but it's just okay. like not defending Dave Chappelle, but just going off of mm -hmm. what he was saying in defense of himself. Yeah. Basically that this is his form of art. Respect it. And if you don't, don't watch. It's kind of what the message yeah. he was saying. Also, the co-CEO, I think it is. I don't know. I didn't, Netflix, yeah. Yeah, I never knew there was like a co-CEO of anything. But I guess mm -hmm. he's the co-CEO of Netflix. He's kind of standing behind Dave Chappelle right now. So we're going to see how this all shakes out. Do y'all think he should be canceled? And I know there's some people who have canceled their Netflix subscriptions. And listen, I'm going to cancel my Netflix subscription if y'all keep making the prices higher. That's just what I'm going to say. You know... I actually don't even pay for my Netflix subscription oh, be nice. because my family each has like their own thing. And so I provide YouTube TV and they have my login. And then my mom has Netflix. Like my aunt has BT plus. Like we, we just see, I'm the one in my family who provides Netflix, but like my mm -hmm. mom provides the other ones. Anywho, yeah. let's move on. You got yeah. some Cardi B stuff. Yes. Okay. Do y'all remember when like, during election season, Cardi B would go on rants on Twitter, Instagram, live. It didn't matter what it was. Cardi B was going on a rant about what she thought politically was correct. And so a lot of times people had backlash for her because they were like, you know, you're not qualified to talk about this. So why why should we take your opinion anyway? But, you know, regardless of everything that she raps about, she is pretty educated when it comes to like her political stances. And basically she just stopped posting it and people wanted to know why. And she said, said it was because... She got tired of the backlash. I can't blame her, obviously, in this situation, especially when you have a platform like her. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. Yeah. And people are going to say, if you're, um, you know, supporting a certain Democrat and he's not doing what he's supposed mm -hmm. to be doing or said they were doing for certain communities, you're going to get backlash for that. If you're supporting yeah. a Republican who's just outright outlandish or going up against them, you're going to get slack from their supporters. So it's just... Yeah. There's no she right She was in brave this. for that. She was brave for even coming and talking about it anyway, because a after all of the stuff that's happened on social media, I was surprised that she even wanted to do that. Yeah. And honestly, I was kind of happy to see her show that side because it showed how much knowledge she does have. I know a lot of people used to come at Cardi for her incorrect spelling <laughs> on Instagram. So I felt like when I she talked, that. You know that? I was yeah. like, girl, that's not no typo, sis. You just don't know how to spell it. But oh. it's okay. She's grown, she's grown from it. She has. She's grown from she it. Has. I love seeing her talk about politics because it showed that she was mm -hmm. educated, contrary to her haters' belief. And she yeah. brought up a lot of good points. She spoke oh to Joe gosh. Biden. She spoke to Bernie Sanders. So mm -hmm. she, she already proved what she needed to prove with that. That's how I feel. But anyway, show Cardi B some love, y'all. She just needs um, some love. And like I like to say, 
you know, keep her in your thoughts if you don't do your prayers. But if you do do your prayers, keep her in your thoughts and your prayers. There you go. <laughs> She's okay. She don't need all that. But, but you don't know that. That's don't true. Know that. That's true. I don't know her on a personal level. So she Unless that's your best. bestie. In my mind, she is. Anywho, moving on. Speaking of people who started their careers on Instagram, Brittany Runner, okay? She's an IG model. I don't even like using that term, IG model, because the only models I respect are the ones who are on the cover of, of Vogue's in the 90s and the 80s, like Naomi Campbell, Tyra Banks. Are you just She's saying a- that because your name's Naomi? No. I'm saying that because that's a true fact. But anywho, IG models to me is not a thing. I would say a different word for her, but I can't because we're recording this and it's going to go on YouTube and we are professionals. But she... Period posted something on her instagram saying jackson she's at jackson state and i think it said moms hide your son something to that extent and that's a problem for me Mm -hmm. because she's a grown woman okay and it's coming off as baiting these young athletes and Mm -hmm. i know that this is like her thing and she pokes Mm -hmm. fun at it but she really is a gold digger, is what it's called. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I going too deep? Okay, it sorry. Was, that, was, that was too much. Sorry. Let's just I take just, a step back. Okay, we're going to take a step back. back. We're going to reel it back. Really? But okay, I'm still, I, don't, oh, I don't even know who this is. Let's let's and that's And that's something I like. But she basically, there was a woman named Superhead in the 1990s who slept with okay. all the athletes, all the artists, and she's the equivalent to... Superhead. She's the modern day Superhead. So basically, Dang. she okay. is what you would consider a groupie, a T H O T. You know, all those different wow. type of things is where she is going. Okay. Right? The title she's okay with having, but listen, okay. she got P J Washington um, from the Charlotte Hornets. Charlotte Hornets. She trapped Period. him. I like to say she trapped him because she made okay. it on him when he was in college. They got together. Okay. She was posted. She was making something. She was changing her life around. I'm this woman. Okay. I'm, I love my man. And I'm just going to start over. I'm going to delete all my promiscuous pictures off of Instagram. And I'm going to live wow. this new life. Post my baby bump. Post our glorious family. And it didn't work. A few months later, that thing didn't work. She was talking about, oh, I'm looking for some stepdads, blah, blah, blah. And granted, I'm not saying PJ Washington is innocent in this because we know how those athletes do. You know, they some no, of them, we don't. not all of them, no, not all of them, with don't. the exception of her lovely fiance. Thank you. We're talking about <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about some athletes are not faithful. That's a thing. You know what I mean? We're just okay. calling the thing a thing. So he might have done something that mm-hmm. upset her and they mm-hmm. had to call it quits. But now she is going off the deep end. A few weeks ago, she posted on Twitter that, hey, anybody know how to get to a Jackson State game? I'm trying to see something. Whatever. That's not exactly what she said, but something she to that term. She is just enjoying her youth, Naomi. She ain't no youth. She's about to be 30. The is youth she? is, she's pushing 30. Oh. That's not youth. She, and she is she's, a mother. <laughs> I'm a mama. What oh does that mean? <laughs> I'm a mother. That's, you, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. See, I, don't have to I, I need to do. I need to do my research on this woman because apparently she has struck a nerve with Naomi this morning, and we're looking at my Facebook Live, so you can watch Tea Time on Facebook Live, or of course you can catch up with us on YouTube. But wait, I have one more thing. No, I wasn't oh, okay. I was just I was just doing a little free promo. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay, keep going there. Okay, and speaking of mothers, how was it? Mother? Mother with a B. Mother. Okay. Eve is a mom. Why are you laughing at me? Okay. Eve is a mom. Eve is one of the hottest female rappers we know. She was super hot in the back 90s. in her day. Back in her day. Let's if you let me finish, I was saying she All was right. super hot in the nineties and mm-hmm. the early two thousands. Zins. Okay. Okay. Back <laughs> at back then. Okay. Why are you? That struck a nerve for you. Yeah, it did. Cause she's not. I mean, Eve is good, but she's not all that. Out of the female rapper catalog we have, she's one of the hottest. She is. But okay, and that's what like I said. In her time, though. Okay, obviously everybody has their time. Okay, but she's one. She was one of the Dang, hottest. Dang, Naomi, I digress. Not because we ain't about to disrespect Eve. Not I, on my watch. I mean, I was just saying. not on my watch. Okay, now we're home. Okay, I'm sorry. We're going off the deep end. This is what we do every week at tea time. But yes, Eve is a mom. She is expecting a child with her billion dollar husband max million something something i don't know if he's a billionaire or a millionaire but regardless he is paid he is from england like my parents so (gasps) should i do my accent oh god england england okay once we start we can't finish with her but that is the tea we have for you today we're gonna end it on that note thank you so much for watching (laughs) i had such a great time with naomi today please tune in on facebook live and of course if you miss it you can watch it on instagram as well i'm i mean i'm doing really good you're doing not too bad you're better than i have you have a better accent than i could even pretend to and her mom 
is like British. Not like, she is. Oh, period. She is <laughs> British. Maybe I can get adopted by your family and practice my accent. <laughs> That's it for today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe what you want to see and what you want to hear. Bye. Chip, chip, cheerio. <laughs>